I really believe in storytelling as a as a pedagogical tool. As soon as we bring in people's stories, it 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 gives a, a face and it gives a picture and it gives a story to to the literature, to the theories, to the um, and and then they become real. Becky Bergman is a senior lecturer in intercultural communication at Chalmers University. Her work includes research and training related to diversity and inclusion, as well as internationalization at home. I work with diversity and inclusion particularly internationalization and particularly intercultural communication. One of the things uh, I do in my teaching is that I run a course, uh, a, an obligatory course for all our faculty at Chalmers. And this is a course called Diversity and Inclusion in Learning in Higher Education. We focus on gender, internationalization and special needs. But within those the, um, that umbrella, we talk about um, intersectionality and diversity and inclusion as a whole. Uh, and basically, it's a, it's a, it's a two-credit course, and the, and the focus is um, ha- making, making teachers aware of the requirements at the university, but also having them think about their teaching and how their teaching might be more inclusive and more uh, they might be more aware of the diversity in their classroom and be able to use that in a more uh, hopefully in a more productive way um, so some of our teachers are um, are very new to Shalmush and they're doing this as part of their introductory teaching package the teaching diploma that all our teachers have to do um but some of them are in, in fact now the majority are teachers who have been at Shalmash uh, the, 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 the latest cohort are teachers who have been at Shalmash for for over 15 20 years as always when something is when something comes top down uh, and you have to do something you have to do in this case this course um, it's not terribly motivating and we we, we work a lot with that um, uh, understanding really of why this course is important and we do that by both making them aware of each other's backgrounds because they're a very diverse group of teachers um, they have very different national backgrounds very different disciplinary backgrounds um, age, all sorts of diversity in, in the teaching group, but also um, engaging, we engage in a lot of storytelling. So um, the, the the primary assignment which we build the course around uh, are interviews with the students. So they 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 are required to, to carry out two interviews with students. It can be their own students, it can be, um, we, we don't really specify there, um, but, but it should be two students. And they we give them a, a list of questions as um, just to get them started. So typically questions like, um, what has brought that student to Shalmash? Um, what the student finds motivating about their studies, what they find less motivating, um, what, the, what the students, um, uh, if there are any challenging situations the students have faced, if they find that Shalmash is an inclusive university and why and why not. So we, so we give them these, these, these prompts and, uh, and typically an interview takes about an hour. So they talk to the student for an hour. Um, a typical scenario is, for example, um, isolation of international students, that they're not, there's a lack of interaction between the international and the Swedish students. Um, and that's something we can talk about on a sort of, on, 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 on one level. But once they've talked to, for example, an international student who's, who's really going through that and, and, and not, not being able to contact with Swedish students, not being able to, not feeling a part of, of the Swedish context, suddenly it becomes real. And and the engagement is in a whole uh, on a completely different level. So we find this this sort of this this bottom up approach of really engaging with with students and their stories. Um, it, it really is a game changer in terms of of the sort of motivation of really wanting to engage with with this issue and and make a difference. I also suggest that they 
try talking to students who are in the minority in their program because um, th that's they're going to find out those those experiences uh, and, and we've ex and we found that, th that the stories are quite often richer when it when you talk to the minority students on the program um, and and sometimes they're very interested in talking to so uh, for example um, students with special needs um, I think that uh, uh, for example, uh, students with, with diagnosed special needs get extra, for example, extra exam time. They get extra support with making notes sometimes. Um, they can they can write their exam on the computer, which other students can't, and so on and so forth. And sometimes there have been sort of mutterings from teachers that, well, how fair is this really, that uh, these students should get this extra time or, or um, uh, you know, there's some... There, there, a little bit of suspicion or a little bit of sort of querying whether whether this is really necessary and um when they when they sit down and they've had conversations with students with dyslexia or students with with asperger's and, and understand the struggle these students are going through on a day-to-day -day basis to try to get through their studies and and what a challenge that is for them um that's 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 made a made a real difference just in that insight as to why those uh, why why those policies are in place? Why those students have the have the right to extra time and so on? And it's not that somehow they're getting an easy ride in the education. In fact, they realise it's you know it's quite the opposite. These students are are still working double, um, quite often double uh, the amount that that our other students are putting in. Many 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 of them interview international students and uh, experience firsthand just how much just how much of the Swedish education system is, is really different, foreign, strange. Um, uh, for example, the fact that we have a very large emphasis on group work in, um, at our university, there's a lot of, a lot of uh, courses and projects carried out in groups, which is quite new for many of our international students coming in and just getting an insight into, into that. Um, so, so when students, for example, uh, go quiet, which is which is fairly fairly common that students just just uh, go quiet, and it's very hard to sort of get them to respond and to know what's going on. Um, that they just they they're just overwhelmed by by new practices and expectations on them, and and how it is this, that how they're supposed to to carry out these assignments that they've, they've they haven't done anything quite like this before. And we did a follow-up study um, just last year where uh, I sent out a survey to those people who'd taken the course uh, a year ago. And basically the question was, so has anything changed? Have you, have you thinking about this third assignment, have you actually put any of this into practice? And the majority actually said that they have, they have changed their teaching uh, as a result of, uh, as a result of that of the course and what they what they experienced.